Well, it's Friday and that means it's time for the Roadie Roundup and we have some fun discussing just some headlines that are going on right now and joining us this morning is a great panel. We have Armando doing double duty this week. He was here on Monday. We have you back today. I think you didn't tell him I was living like I slept behind. He's been sleeping here all week, but this is his first time doing the Roadie it Roundup. Is, yeah. So we're out of the kitchen over here. So thank you, Armando. Yeah, thank you. We have our good friend Kayla Manneville. Thank you so much for being here. Influencer, photographer, model, <laughs> and our great friend Nick G from Hot 106. Influencer, photographer, model, yes. Yeah, so. All that as well. I was going to carry it right on down. <laughs> this is tough for like <laughs> sitting on the other side. You're doing great. Right? You're doing awesome. Very, very difficult. I'm going to kick it off easy. I'm going to start with you. Sure. You've been on your first time here. So summer is on Thursday. It's the official kickoff. What's one thing in Rhode Island this summer you're excited to do? I want to put the top down on my on my new Bronco and just drive around and drive around like Narragansett, Newport. Like my wife and I will take the car, start in Bristol and then just go around. That's and cool. I don't know where we end up. We just, you know, it's a nice and, you know, I don't get sat a lot of Saturdays off. So right. having a few of these next few weeks is nice to just kind of like if we can and just, you know, leave the kids at home and do that for an hour, hour and just a half and, and just maybe have a cocktail somewhere. And oh, I that, love that. Yeah, those, are, those are like, you know, when you, have, you know, when you have kids, those are the hard part of life, Absolutely. you know? So, so that's probably it. I've always enjoyed doing that. That's great. Yeah. Kayla, what about you? What are you doing as soon uh, as summer hits? What's one thing you have to do? Well, this year I'm going to Newport Folk Festival. That's like a big Rhode Island thing. So I'm really excited for that. But summertime, I love the coastal photography. As yeah. a photographer, I love the sailboat. No, beautiful. Yeah, it is. Yeah, beautiful. We live in the most beautiful we state. Really do. We, we really, really do. We really do. Nick, what about you? What are you doing? So my parents have a pool and a tiki bar by the pool. Ooh. So that first Sunday fun day where the whole family goes over. That's like the kickoff of summer. Yes. But second beach too. I got to get out. That's a great beach. beach. Yeah. It really is. We used to go to that when I was a kid all the time. It's awesome. Best. All right, Kayla, I'm going to start with you on this one. So not only is it Flag Day, but it's also National Movie Day. What's one movie that you could honestly watch on repeat all the time? And why is it that movie? It's actually, that's a really hard decision to make, but <laughs> I will say it's a little cheesy, but Bridges of Madison County. Oh, good one. It's I haven't so, seen that in a while. It's so good. It's really like, good. It's just so good. It's like a great story. Um, you could watch it every day. Yeah, the rest you of the could. I repeat, huh? Huh? That's a, that's a good one. I it's haven't good seen one. that. It's and it's a good book. Watch it. I yeah, it's a great it. book, actually. Okay, so Nick, you have to do what you have to watch, watch it. it. Dumb and Dumber, obviously. Dumb and Dumber. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's something you can watch every single day. It's quotable. It's funny. It makes you feel good. Dumb that is dumb. a good one. It's, it's got Rhode Island yeah. in it. Yeah, right. You tie in the Rhode Island back in. Armando, yeah. what's the nice. one movie? <laughs> Shawshank Redemption. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Uh, that, that might be one of the greatest movies ever made. Yeah, and you can watch that on repeat. I can, I can watch that on repeat. I can, you know, I can pick it up and stop. And, and it's just, you know, that ending is just such a great... Wouldn't you want to... Like, if you weren't in that boy's situation, you'd want to do that to anybody you could. It's, it's a great movie. Just a great, great movie. I haven't seen that one in a while That's either. Sh Shawshank see? Redemption. Okay. All right, I'm going to add that to my list. Okay, Father's Day is Sunday. A lot of people are doing last-minute shopping. A lot of people. Nick, what's a great last minute gift that you could get dad? So my dad is very, it's nothing. It's just time. Just yeah. going over, spending the day with him, or like a golf gift card. Like you can get that last minute anywhere. That's but a I good think, last minute gift. I think gift. with dad, like time, all of us going over, having a meal, that's what it's all about. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean. I'm going to tell, so, you know, obviously no, your dad, what's, what's again, a last minute gift? Again, this is the first Sunday, the first Father's Day. I get to spend at home. I imagine that, like, because normally we're always, you know, we've got, yeah. the, you know, you've got a bunch of stuff going on at the restaurants, and this year it's I'm kind of, you know, waiting by. So again, I think I, that's a great answer. That's I mean, a great answer. Like, I, I like coffee, so if you want to always get me a coffee card, <laughs> I love it because I'm always drinking coffee every day. But but again, like, yeah, I want to just spend my two-year-old my 17 year old like you know I just want to spend time with them I think that's that's a really really good answer that is like just like a, yeah, the greatest what, gift what, what do you need like when you when you've got kids and you've got a family well, what else more do you want yeah like, you know Kayla what about you what do you think is How a great can I follow up that answer I know I, mean, like I know I hate to put you answer. on the spot because they're um, such great answers <laughs> or like anything material or like um, I would say just a gift card because like buy what you want you know yeah. I feel like yeah, just get what you want to get, so I'll get you a gift card. I get that. Know? Dads are tough, too, so you yeah. give them that gift card, they can get, they need something so Yeah. Dads do have everything, but I do. I think the gift of time, I have to go Kayla. You almost yeah, can't, like, you know, she's in the middle of that. How like, can I possibly? The, the thing is, it changes. Like, when you're, you don't have kids. Not yeah. You, you know, when you don't have kids, you don't mentally prepare for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when you have kids, like, I say it all the time, they're, you know, like, as a, as a young dad, because, you know, my, my two-year-old, 
I, I laugh all the time because there are moments where you're like, I just want to go home and be with my kids. Yeah. Like you don't have that. Prior to not having kids, you don't have that. So time is, it's, it's definitely a great yeah. answer, especially from somebody that doesn't have the kids. It's perfect. It's wise easy. Man. Wise, wise man. Wise man. Wise man. We'll end it on that today. Thank you guys so much for being part of Thank the Rudy Roundup. Have a great weekend. Love having you here, and happy Father's Day to all the dads out there.